What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lemon Football. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the brand new Adidas Freak 22 football cleats. Now, first off, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of this video because I wanna see exactly what these cleats are made of and I'm gonna end up cutting them in half. The second thing I wanna ask is please go ahead and subscribe. Guys, we're putting out as many reviews as possible for all the new football products this year. We are working our ass off to get this all done in time for the football season. So please go ahead and subscribe as we wanna hit 100,000 by Christmas. But enough talking, let's jump right into the unboxing and then into the review. So for me, I wear a size to size 12 and a half in these kind of cleats. Try a 12 just to see if I can get a little tighter fit than the other ones. And you can see a big thing they're going for this year is this N plastic waist. So you can see that N plastic waist logo there. So two cleats in here. We got the right shoe and then we got the left shoe right here. So let's take a look around these to start. So on the inside of the sole here, you can see it does have that freak logo and you can see this entire thing has this nice shimmer to it. It's like a raised texture, how it says freak on there as well. That's really nice. Same thing that kind of wraps around here. The pull tab is really interesting how it kind of loops on here. Maybe it's to make it a little bit more durable. Guys, I just want to take a quick second away from the video and let you know how you can get access to all these videos up to a month early. You see, when we create videos, we'll actually make around four or five at a time and then we'll schedule them to release on YouTube once a week every Monday. But if you're a YouTube member, you actually get all these videos as soon as they release. Now with the YouTube membership, you'll get tons of benefits like custom badges when you comment on our videos, all of our videos early, polls and posts asking for feedback on all of our upcoming projects, and you'll also get bigger discounts on stuff like our merchandise and shock visors. If you wanna become a member, all you have to do is hit that join button or click one of the first links in the description down below. All right, back to the video. Kind of looks like a lightning bolt here. Not super sure about if I like this design, but if it's supposed to make it a little more secure, I also, I get that too. All right, let's go around the toe box here. Now on the toe box, you do have more of its, uh, I call it like the comic design. You know, and you see someone go like, pow. pow. Right, that's the, the, this reminds me of. So that's the entire design on the front of this cleat here, that shimmer, really nice. You can even see in the traction plate here in these shark studs on the side, there's a little bit of a, Shimmer. Uh, making our way around the outside of the cleat now, we do have the Adidas logo that's embroidered in here with that again, shimmer. Uh, last detail on the upper of the cleat is gonna be this logo here, and I think that's again the end plastic waist. Uh, but this year they still went with that really wide lacing on here. You can see some of them connect wider, lower than other ones do. Now it does have the same mesh tongue that last year's had, except this time it's actually sewn in with this elastic here. So you can see on the side, right, everything is sewn in. So this is actually a one, piece kind of slip on style cleat. The laces are also a really nice touch. You can see they have that nice little shimmer. One thing that I thought was gonna be an issue but actually feels really good right now is I thought this tongue was gonna be a little too flimsy on here uh, but it actually feels like there's maybe like a thin piece of cardboard. Like it feels like this tongue has some structure to it. You can see it's keeping its shape really well. It's not caving in or anything. So it feels like there's some kind of structure inside this mesh here that's making it hold its shape. As far as the material though, it's the same leather TPU that they have on there. Freak Nasties or Freaks last year. It's really common material used in football cleats. Turning the cleat over here, we have the exact same traction plate as last year. Here's last year's Freaks versus this year's. Identical traction plate, no difference at all. I just have a clear version on my other Freak 22. So they went to with more of a white version on the, the same model that they would have for this year. In the midsole, there's a little bit of like a material, like a foam, but it's not boost like the Freak Ultras. But aside from that, identical traction plates. You can see that's the difference with the Freak logo embroidered versus this year. This is more of a traditional style uh, upper, whereas this one you can see it had that kind of layered with that stuff underneath it. So a little bit different. And the other issue that a lot of people had again with these Freaks was this really big tongue. Uh, it was just, it felt really big and oversized. Whereas this one's kind of integrated into it. Again, identical shark spikes. There's a silhouette year over year. The one nice touch they also did with this year is my issue with this Freak was it had like this gold Adidas logo on the side here, but they didn't match the embroidered on here. Like I thought, I thought this was really nice. This year's model, they have the same embroidered kind of gold flake logo, and then they match that Freak on the inside too. So really nice that they kind of updated that. So it all matches. It just feels like an overall more coherent cleat as far as the design than this year kind of felt like this was a little more yellow. This was kind of like a brown gold. And then this was like that gold flake. So overall, this one as a design, I think does look a lot better. Another thing I'm gonna look at here is you can see that padding on the inside. You can see they thickened up that padding a little bit around that heel. Whereas last year was kind of like just like an overall cushioned heel cup. And this year, that same cushioned heel cup, uh, but with a little bit more emphasis around that Achilles there. This is actually good to talk about. So this is 
a thinner insole. Last year's had the Adidas Bounce insole, which is a little bit thicker. You can see there versus this one, which is interesting because this one again has the same midsole. So I'm not sure why they would get rid of the nice, thicker, more premium inside for that. Now I'm gonna go test these out, run around, put them through their paces, and then we'll drop the review. So one of the biggest changes they made year over year from the Freak 21s to the Freak 22 is gonna be the upper material on this. So now this year, it's just a one piece TPU upper. Now when I first put these cleats on, it felt really thin and pretty stiff, but after a while I was able to break it in and I didn't notice it as much. But when I put the Freak 21s on directly next to it, I could definitely feel this one is way thinner. Now, as far as ventilation and breathability goes this cleat, I think it's a little bit worse than last year's, just because last year's had this kind of like two layer material here with like the breathability underneath. Whereas this year with this one piece, it really doesn't let any air pass through. Now with this early review, I do think the tongue still feels pretty stiff and a little bit weird on the top of my foot, but I noticed as the longer I wore it, the better it got. So over time breaking in, I think this mesh tongue will do you well. Now the one piece of this that I don't think will be broken in over time and they can't fix is gonna be the toe box here. I don't know if it's about the way it kind of connects Right here, you can see how it kind of is already buckling a bit, but when you step the way this material just buckles in and buckles down, it just feels really weird and unnatural. Now, one thing that they did change from last year's to this year is the way the heel padding worked. Now on last year's, it just felt like an overall thicker heel padding where it was kind of all the way around. Whereas this year's, they went with it more of like a centralized approach. So they put really thick, you know, one inch thick foam all the way at, on your Achilles, but then around it, they kind of went down to like quarter inch thick foam around there. Still really comfortable on your heel. It just feels a little bit different. But the biggest issue that these cleats have when it comes to comfort that they just cannot fix is gonna be the insole. Now last year's cleats had the Adidas Bounce insole in them, and you can see how nice and thick and rigid this blue foam is that was in that insole. Whereas this year they went with like a super cheap basic insole here, and you can just see the difference in thickness from year to year. The cleat felt slightly thinner around the arch of my foot around this area. I could start to feel this traction plate through it around here. The other place was on the midsole here. I could feel my heel on top of this traction plate through this midsole. I think over time, this is gonna break down even further. And if you are on like a stiff turf field or you're not on like a nice spongy grass, I think these are actually gonna get pretty uncomfortable on your heel when you're wearing them for more than an hour. All right, next we're gonna look at the fit and support. These are by far the best cleats I've seen for wide feet, period. Now, although these two cleats have the exact same traction plate, they actually carry this upper a little bit outside of it on the Free 22s, whereas the Free 21 does look slightly narrower. And I could feel there was a ton of room. I have pretty wide feet and these went all the way outside and gave me lots of room to work with here in the Free 22s. Now for comparison, I got these in a 12 and a half and they felt pretty big. My Nike Alpha Menace Varsities from last year were a 12 and a half and they felt very snug. So these are a lot better for wide feet. If you do have narrower feet, I would recommend going a half size down to get a really nice tight fit. The other small detail, though it is very hard to see, these cleats are slightly lower cut than last year's models, so they do have a little bit less ankle support. All right, let's talk about the traction plate. So this is the identical traction plate to last year. Nothing has changed. I still think it's a good all-purpose traction plate. I think they're not too long where it's gonna be tough on turf, not too short where it's not gonna be good on grass. I do like how they do have some triangle studs and then a couple of these at the front, but overall, it's a good traction plate. No crazy technology like some of the things Nike is doing, which is rough to see, um, but for a year-over-year -year change, I think, It'll do. So when I'm actually filming this, I forgot to weigh the cleats beforehand, but in my hand, I can feel that the Freak 22s are a lot lighter than the Freak 21s. One of the reasons I think will be this TPU material is a lot thinner. It also has a thinner midsole in it. They have less heel padding. So they took a lot of the weight in this cleat to help with the agility. Okay, next thing I'm gonna talk about is protection. These have nothing. It is a super thin TPU material. This one last year had more of like a thicker kind of rigid material that might give you a little bit of protection where this one, it has nothing. If you get a toe stepped on here, it's, you're gonna feel it. All right, next thing I'm gonna talk about is positions. Now, although this is slightly lower cut than last year's model, I still think this is a great all-purpose cleat. I think if you play multiple positions on the field, like linebacker and running back, or O-lineman, D-lineman, and it's kind of mixed, you know, if you're like a tackle and an end, I still think this is a really good football cleat for you. I think this will also work for other big skill guys like tight ends and QBs. Overall, if you're looking for an all-purpose football cleat and you have really wide feet, I think the Free 22s are gonna be your best option this year. Now at this point, when we're releasing this video, they don't have a ton of colors out for the Free 22s. Right now, we have the white versions, the black versions, there's a big mood version available as well, but not a lot of team colors. Having said that, the Freak Ultras and the Adidas Spark Cleats both have more team color options like their red and their blues. So I would expect that by the fall season, the Freak 22s are available in solid red and blue team colors as well. Okay, one of the last things we're gonna talk about is price. Now these cleats come in at $100 and I don't remember how much last year's were, uh, but I think they're around $100 as well. 
Personally, I think they're around the right price point. I don't think they have the same technologies as some of the cleats that are listed around $120, so I get why they're a little bit cheaper and a little more all-purpose and available to everyone. Having said that, if they are the same price as last year's cleats, and they took out that bounce midsole, I think it should not be worth the same amount. I think that bounce insole that they had in last year's is so valuable. And if they're gonna sell the same shoe at the same price, it should be in it. Now I've talked enough about what the materials are that go into this, but I actually wanna see for myself. Let's go cut one in half. So yeah, when you look at these cleats from the inside, I thought the tongue was different. I thought it was a little different from last year. The inside, same traction plate, pretty much same midsole, although on the midsole here, it does look a little thicker on the Freak 22 than the Freak 21, but the same thickness around the heel. The tongue also looks pretty much identical as last year's. This also gives you a really good view of see how that heel padding is on there. So you can see the heel padding is a lot different on the year over year models on there. I do think that this year was a really good change as well. But like I said, when you cut these in half, you can see the biggest difference between these two cleats is gonna be the insole in here. The 22s is just way too thin. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, leave a like so we know what kind of videos you wanna see in the future. Please subscribe as we wanna hit 100,000 subs before Christmas. All right, I'll see you next time.